Christmas tree lot is set up in front of the Gresham Family Worship Center on West Powell. The Christmas trees locked up behind this fence. It appears the bad guys cut through this heavy duty lock and chain to get to what they were after. If it looks like this Christmas tree lot is lacking inventory, it's because it is. We're down to uh, about 100. Mike Odell is with Pacific Northwest Adult and Teen Challenge, a nonprofit that helps people suffering from addiction and other life controlling issues. To say they depend on their annual Christmas tree sales would be an understatement. All the money that we make from the Christmas trees goes straight back into our program. It helps us pay for gas for our vehicles, it helps keep the lights on. It makes what you're about to hear all the more troubling. Sometime between 8 o'clock Monday night and 11 o'clock Tuesday morning, somebody broke into the tree lot and stole more than 90 trees, as well as a table, chairs, a tent, and dozens of extension cords. In all, more than $5,000 worth of stuff. I was at a loss for words. I mean, <laughs> this is just devastating for our ministry. So. Um, not sure what we're going to do. Making matters even worse, the church where the tree lot is located had one of its vans and trailers taken. Grainy surveillance video obtained by KGW appears to show the thief driving away. Also, a box truck of some kind that may be carrying the stolen Christmas trees. There was a lot of anger at first, but I mean, there's nothing we can do about it now. As frustrated as Mike Odell is, he's even more compassionate offering this message to the crooks. We just want you to know that uh, we forgive you, we love you. It would appear the key to cracking this case is finding the stolen van and flatbed trailer. The stolen van is a 2002 Ford Econoline E350, similar to the one you see here. The only difference being that it should say Gresham Family Worship Center along the side. Oregon license plate 643 DPM. If you spot the van or the trailer or know anything about this case, call the Gresham Police Department. Reporting in Gresham, I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.